In this video, we're going to be covering the assembly of a 3D Potter version 10 micro printer. The first step for this is you need to remove the wing nuts off of the printer, and then the printer can be lifted up out of the box. The next step will be to remove all blue tape and extra packing on the printer. On the back of the printer, there should be screws taped in place marked as M512s. These are the screws we will use to secure the Z-Rail. After folding the Z-Rail up, use the included M512 screws on the sides of the Z-Rail to secure it in place. If you're using power tools, be sure not to strip these threads. There are M520s also used on the side of the Z-Rail near the bottom. It is recommended that you finish tightening the screws with hand tools rather than using power tools. On some of our printers, the X-Rail is detached for shipping purposes and must be reattached. The screws will be in place, ready to be screwed in, and you must take them out and then replace them back where they belong, with the X-Rail attached. Once the X-Rail is attached, we will then attach the bat. Use the included screws that are from the parts box as well as one of the Allen keys. There are four screws on the corners of the bat. Be sure to align them correctly and secure the bat. You must also attach any motor connections and limit switch wires. For the final step of assembly of the printer, we attach the extruder arm. The screws are already in place on the Z-Rail and must be removed and then placed through the extruder arm and reattached. With the extruder arm now on, you can now attach your extruder and start printing. The printer is fully assembled. 